Let's move on to the other crazy thing that happened this weekend. Ay, ay, ay. Eight people died. Probably eight and counting. At Astroworld. Terrible situation. I mean, I know some people had jokes about it and everything. I don't really feel like bringing that energy to the table because I feel... You said they what? I had a jokes, lot of people had jokes on Twitter, that's whatever. That's disgusting. Right, you shouldn't joke about that. We but saw so many. Like it, it, It's know. easy to be cynical about it. I feel horrible for everybody involved. I got some shit for saying that I felt bad for Travis, but I mean, I, I don't think, from my perspective, I'm willing to take his, his word for it that he didn't know that that was happening because if he did, I just am choosing to believe that he's a human being who would have been fucking horrified, you know? You could equally... Be- you could equally be sad for the uh, for the victims and yeah. uh, and the family members, and also be like, "Damn, I know the artist was probably put in a in a compromising situation." He's at the up same on time. stage performing for fifty thousand people they or said whatever. Two hundred thousand was there. Two hundred thousand people. Well, they had sold about sixty thousand tickets, but then you had that uh, earlier in the day where a whole bunch of people yeah they were running in. in and doing that shit. Oh, so it was it was supposed to be sixty k, and it ended up being two hundred k because of that. Because no way, one hundred fifty thousand people no, no, ran no, in. No, no, no. But, but it was more. It was, than, it was just more, way more people than they probably were prepared I, I for. I've seen some images that showed like the way that they actually section up the the people at a lot of concerts and stuff, so that there isn't able to be this like massive wave of people crushing Each other people, other shit, yeah. which seems like uh, yeah, you know something that bro, they probably should have invested in. The one, the one story that I heard about that shit broke my heart, bro. The fucking dad had his nine year old son on his shoulders. And oh, I guess God. he passed out. And when he passed out, they trampled his son. And when he woke up, he could not find his son. And they took the boy. To, they, he, they had to find. The, um, they had to label his son as a John Doe because his oh, parents weren't there. God. Yes, and they said all of his organs were crushed, bro. And he's in a coma right now, bro. Nine year old boy, bro. This just crazy, bro. Swear to God, dude. And I mean, if you really th- God, like, dude. this is just my perspective. But if you really think. Travis Scott is so heartless that he could know that there's something like that that happened in the crowd and that he would keep performing. How? I just don't believe it. I think he would have stopped the show if he had any idea that that was happening. Maybe he was a little callous. Maybe he wasn't paying yeah. close enough attention. But, I mean, when you're up on stage having to perform these songs in front of that many fucking people. There's no way you could I mean, be. There's no way you could pick out the severity of a situation from that, yeah. that far. I was up. mad at the cameraman, some of the staff and shit who seemed like they were the kind of callous people ones. People yeah. literally saying there are people dying, yeah. right? And they're just like, right, like whatever. Like that shit is disgusting. Some of that bro. was pretty shocking to me. Either way, I mean, I heard they have a twenty-six million dollar uh, insurance policy, but it's going to be well over a hundred million dollars with course. Like, charges and lawsuits and they have to refund everybody's shit i mean the thing that seems oh, yeah, crazy about the this, festival got canceled then the next day but, obviously but didn't they actually do it the next day or did no, they, they no, didn't no, they canceled oh, okay it. that was a myth right. and he dropped out of day in vegas mm-hmm. He dropped out of day in Vegas. The question yeah. is if he dropped out or if they like, removed him because their statement that they put out kind of made it look like they took him off the festival, which, <clears throat> I mean, this is kind of like going to be a really interesting test outside of like the horribleness of the fact that people died. When you look at Travis's career, I mean, it seemed like he was just on this unstoppable on the- trajectory <laughs> of just becoming so ridiculously gigantic. And now I'm seeing some pretty crazy stuff. They're removing the fucking Travis Scott um, uh, uh, emote from Fortnite, I saw. They're taking him off a of fucking day in Vegas. I'm seeing, I saw this crowd. It looked like it was a lot of white people and not really as much like fucking uh, mm-hmm. hip hop audience. That SZA show? Right, that was a SZA show. Yeah, they played fucking sicko mode or some shit, and the crowd was booing, booing until they took the song off. What? So some people are like actually really mad at Travis Scott enough that they're trying to like take his fucking career down now. I, I've seen a lot of conspiracy theories with with the show as well. Like, yeah, right. I, I don't know. I think I think right now at this time everybody is trying to point a finger at somebody to of blame, course. and they're yeah. trying to make him the. I, I mean, I mean, if you have to perform in front of if it's 200,000 people, it's like, come on. Now, somebody in that staff, should have they should have pulled the plug on that show. Like, they should have turned the lights, not turned the lights off, but pulled the plug on that show, bro. Stop all the music and everything like that to help people. And, and it, feel like, it just feels like, uh, as a com- combined, the staff, they didn't do a good job, and they weren't even caring when people were really trying to, uh, you know, yeah. be safe. And, and then I read, like, some of the stories. They said... This guy said that yeah. if you put your hand up, it was so packed that you wouldn't even be able to put your hand back down. 
I believe it, man. Fucking, that's I, I haven't been to the front of a festival <laughs> concert experience in a long time. But sometimes when you're like in the front of the crowd, God, this is so bougie that this is my only experience. But when you're in the front of the crowd, like on the stage, and you just see the way people are so packed in up there. Mm-hmm. My perspective is like, why the fuck would you want to be packed in like this? What are you doing for water? How would you, you can't get even out leave. of here you if you even. wanted to get out of here? How the fuck could you get out of here? You'd you have to pass have. through this giant mosh pit slash, or you'd have to like go sideways all yeah. the way to. I mean, it just seems like pretty crazy for fans to put themselves in that position, but to see it go this left is also just fucked. And then you seen the video of the like the ambulance was trying to get the people out. Is trying to drive and people through. is climbing on the fucking ambulance. Those, oh, kids, yeah, it's lit. Uh, those yeah. kids are pieces of shit. If they're dragging a fucking body out of the festival and you're dancing around on top of the thing, I mean, you are an absolute asshole. People are fucking like, this is nuts, man. That was mind blowing. But it's like to, to put the full blame on the artist like in that moment, I feel like just doesn't make any sense if you've never been up on a stage and like couldn't even like make out a face because there's just seas of people for right. as far as you can see i don't understand how people can like exclusively blame him for that i know it's his festival obviously he should take some blame but you can't exclusively just if i'm travis scott, travis scott and i'm out there I'm focusing on performing and I'm assuming that, the that people, if the there are people are dying in the audience, never mind even just passing yeah. out, being dragged out or whatever, if there's a situation that's out of control, I'm assuming that everyone who works here, that's their priority to, yeah. to deal with this. I'm up here to perform. If things get so fucked up that I should stop performing, okay, well, tell me that. Yeah. And I just, I refuse to like put all the blame on him when you think about how many people it took to make this concert happen. I don't, I don't understand the communication of how, uh, was like someone not like radio to be like, yo, like, you know, people are dying. Yeah. You know, to, to, to just let Travis know that it was that serious. And then too, I've seen, I, I read this one guy, he said that he seen bodies being trampled and yeah. he's seen lifeless he's saying he's seen the one or two lifeless bodies on the ground he said he had to climb up this platform and he's telling the camera guy like people are dying and the guy told him like get i'm like i'm gonna uh, get down for i kick you off or something like that like this right. shit is yeah, crazy, yeah. when i saw that i thought they were going to be finding even more dead people i was I honestly yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I, I ended up thinking like eight is Okay, thankfully, because it sounded like it was going to be way worse at a certain point. I mean, I, do you think, honestly, that this has like a very bad long-term ramification on Travis Scott's career? They're saying that they edited him out of the fucking Kardashians reality that, that show. That is weird, though. Which is bizarre to me. I mean, what? he didn't do anything on purpose, you know? Yeah. like like to, to, is, is he at fault for throwing a festival? And yeah. then literally, like, he stopped the show because he heard somebody passed out. Right. He didn't even know that like people were actually dying. I think the staff is who who uh who really fucked that shit up for real. And I mean, then too it's like why the fuck is Drake getting sued? What? Because they're going to sue anybody, anybody who had anything to do with that shit just to they they're, they're going to sue anyone. I'm not really surprised at all. Honestly, it's crazy because the the like company who put the event on, I know those guys and we've like done stuff with them in the past. I haven't done like a temperature check of like, uh, you know, texting any of the employees or whatever, but mm-hmm. I'm kind of wondering if their entire business all of a sudden looks. Com- oh, actually, you know what? They sold it a couple of years ago. So there's oh, no wow. there's no way that and, they're and, actually dealing with it. But and then too, like the reports of somebody stabbing people with a yeah, drug. That's crazy. Random drugs. And that's been confirmed. That's like the the the. Police department real. says that that's a real thing. Yeah, yeah, he said that on now national television. I think a lot of people assumed at first that that was just like a false flag that the Travis Scott team was putting out there, so that it would take some of the blame off of them. Like, no, look at all this crazy shit that's yeah. going on. That's real, apparently. Well, because think about it, if if you got you know an increase of about like thirty percent more people than y'all were even expecting that that broke in and broke down these barriers and shit, how the fuck can you? Um, you know, like like you can't send them through metal detectors and shit like that. They the, fucking broke all the shit down. The question is just like, does this okay, it's definitely gonna have a big effect on Travis Scott's career. I would say it's definitely not gonna be like a career ending thing at all. No, I honestly I don't think so. I don't think he might lose some corporate opportunities and stuff for a while. Which he's, is big for him he, though. He's not gonna seem yeah, you're right. Because honestly, like even him doing like the McDonald's deal and Hell stuff, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised to see Travis Scott be able to do something like that again. 
a year or two from now, mm-hmm. but I think it's going to be a while before but, brands want to directly associate even, with them like that. Even with that, right? Because you can go back to like the Ariana Grande situation where like the bombing happened. But like, people viewed her as being completely powerless in that situation, yeah, cause which was, she was. Travis yeah. Scott, people like it's it's possible to put the blame on him, so people are going to put the blame on yeah. him. Yeah, and and I feel like they've been trying to they've been trying to catch a, a, a L for him for forever because he's know? had kind of like a flawless Track career record. in a lot of ways. Like myself personally, not the biggest fan, <laughs> yeah, obviously, yeah. Elephant in the Room, but yeah. he's kind of like just seamlessly like leveled up over and over and over in the rap game. And like, have you ever seen him take a serious hit? Not I don't really. think I've ever seen him Bro, take any any I L's. Seen Piers Morgan talking about him. I said this is fucked up. But it's crazy because people are coming out of the woodwork. Like I seen this TikTok that was going super viral from his like former manager mm-hmm. talking about he, he's the biggest asshole. How yeah. he he did this this and that because honestly, like as me someone I was basically kind of sort of in the music industry when Travis Scott's career started. Mm-hmm. That was like the only thing I would ever hear about Travis yeah, Scott in the early days of his career, he's the biggest dickhead you've ever met. I, I heard that from people over and over and over, people with stories about how rude and shitty he was to them or whatever. And then at a certain point, that just kind of stopped. And just he just people, elevated past it. like. I, and I don't know if maybe he like just chilled the fuck out and became a lot nicer, but it was weird watching his fucking man, mm-hmm. his ex-manager apparently say this stuff because I'm like, this is really taking me back to like 2015 when people, yeah. like if you watch the Tyler Grosso uh, podcast, yeah. he's fucking basically telling like a horror story about hanging out with Travis Scott. How, <laughs> didn't he leave him in the rain? He kicked outside him out in the rain out in of the a Uber. club. Yeah, like just. And like that, that was the era of like me thinking. Or about even that. even remember? Uh, I don't know if you ever seen this one, but it was like uh, like the photographers and shit. They were uh, yes, on, stage. on the stage. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, "Get the fuck off!" Like you know, like whatever the fuck. But I mean, if he's still like that, they've done a pretty amazing job at like keeping it out of the public. Eye I don't think so. I don't think he has like an asshole reputation at this point. You know. I, I think the things that we're talking about, his fans and stuff, and all these you know kids that know him from Fortnite and shit, they have no idea what we're talking about. Did you watch the Netflix about. special about yeah. Travis Scott? Mm-hmm. No, I feel like that shit painted him like like a, a fucking big, yeah, god. Bigger light, bro. The like, Netflix, the Netflix shit was crazy. Yeah, he's very that, careful about how he puts himself out there. That's why this is a fucking marketing. Yes. Debacle. You know what it reminds me of is how the the Ace family, Austin McBroom, he did that big ass social gloves boxing match. Mm-hmm. He wins the fight. He defeats Bryce Hall. He's supposed to get $5 million and make however yeah. many Bonus. millions and millions of dollars off the event, but he just completely fucked it up, so he gets nothing. How? He's, because they didn't promote it, so it didn't sell that well. So mm-hmm. like they didn't move enough tickets, and uh, they, they ignored a lot of the advice about doing like traditional marketing to make it bigger. They thought that they would be able to just put it on their Instagram stories and shit, and that, mm, that would like, be enough no. marketing. So now... I mean, he's being sued for like maybe like a hundred million dollars, and huh? like like crazy tens and tens and tens of millions of dollars. And the craziest thing about it is that they sign contracts that are a bit like when you do events like this, you do it under an LLC, so that people aren't able to come directly to for right your yeah. fortune, so that they have to sue the company. But the thing is, is that they sign these like forms that are basically saying like you have to pay this fighter before any other costs are paid for the event. So before you pay for the venue, you gotta pay this fighter. And he signed multiple forms like that for multiple different fighters. So basically like he's extra fucked and they're gonna come after his personal assets. And that's what I wonder about this is like, is Travis Scott's personal wealth gonna be attacked by the people who are suing? He has so much money that I don't even know if he's worried about yeah. that more than he's worried about his actual reputation. You're right. And about because that hurts his ability to earn long term, especially. Exactly. Not to mention also knowing eight people died at your concert is pretty fucked up. If if you are like a if you are a caring person, you know, it's probably artists that don't like they'll act like they give a fuck, but, but they But that's don't. the funny thing about it is that you see so many people on Twitter who seem like they are completely convinced that Kylie and Drake and Travis Scott don't give a fuck about other people to the extent that they like basically don't care that people died out there because they are now saying that Travis Scott went to Dave and Buster's immediately after the concert. But you got to think about, he probably didn't know, didn't know the severity of the situation until hours, maybe even like, like the next day. Kind of hard to imagine because, think so? well, just because, I mean, don't you have a whole fucking team of people that know exactly what's going on at this festival? Think like, of, think if of, they kept you in the dark about that, that would be a little surprising to me, but I mean, I guess I'll take his word for it. I'm just saying, the nigga might have hopped off stage, 
went to Dave and Buster's and not knew anything was going on yet. Right. And then too, people probably got declared dead at the hospital. Yeah, like way later and like yeah. We might be fucking the timeline up because yeah, who knows how, what people knew or what they didn't know. I mean, it must have looked pretty fucking crazy out there for him on Man, stage. Man, the but. way that they was a, a saying it was it was a concert from hell. One thing yeah. I didn't like though was the People magazine saying oh. Kylie Jenner pregnant, uninjured at the. I'm like, come on, man. What you know that the social media editor who wrote that fucking title Dickhead. got absolutely reamed out by their boss because that was like the worst framing for an article title I could ever imagine. And like, like no offense, but like nobody was worried about like, nobody Kylie was Jenner worried. Right. Listen, at the time we all know how like this you're looks. in the like you're in the crowd yeah, yeah like you're like, in the crowd and that, that's what's so insane about it is like these people in the audience are basically like at war with each other getting trampled and shit we know kylie was sitting in a beautiful dressing room in back in ac like just <laughs> hanging out you know come on 